Hey everyone, Matt from Workshop Tinkerers here. Uh, so as you can see, I've tried to put some structural supports on my printer and see how that went. I've done uh, my normal octopus test prints and here's my test prints. Uh, I ran out of filament so I had to switch to copper. I like this copper by the way. Uh, so, original print, new prints, difference is this is after I did the other two adjustments with the um, Bowden tube so you can see what I'm pointing at the Bowden tubes to reduce drag reel and then this so I don't have my zip ties tugging on it uh, what what differences do I see did it make an improvement I'm thinking I didn't do enough that these structural reinforcements, while to me feels a lot sturdier, either I had some just because I left it alone, it was decently sturdy. Let's see, let you get up and close. So old is the black, new are these two. One difference is I'm getting a lot more of these balls. I'm thinking that's a setting I changed in. Uh, simplify that is a retraction slash temperature issue I think um, the problem is that these take 10 hours to print so it takes me a long time to test and if I forget about it and let it get three hours in get this far I mean that's a lot of wasted plastic but and I need a change I don't like the octagon I'm going to change it to uh, rectilinear or honeycomb to rectilinear. Anyways, uh, I will say I don't have, so I have a layer split in the black one here. I don't have any layer splits in the copper. Other than that, what am I seeing? Uh, very similar, so I'm looking up here. I'm still seeing a lot of under extrusion issues, but that's extruder, not structural. I'm looking, trying to look for structural only improvements. And I'm seeing less layer shift for sure. So I see lines here where they don't quite line up with the previous line. I'm not seeing so much of that. Um, this one I can see a, a layer, the steps really well though. Um, Copper one, it's okay. Now more and more I'm looking at it. I think it did improve. If I actually, at first I want to say no, there wasn't an improvement. There. This was decently well, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm looking at it and actually getting an in-close look. I'm not seeing the layer shift issues. I do have these balling issues, which I'm going to do another test print. Uh, I'll see if I can figure it out and help you out but remember I use simplify so my settings might be different from how everyone else can slice but and there's extrusion issues I'm I'm thinking I want to do a, a hot run and of course I really need to put my ending G code in so it lifts up and off all I need is to go up Z axis well I should just make it home yeah, I'll do that. That's nice and easy. G28, home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that makes it easy with this thing. Don't have to worry about it crashing onto the into the part. It just lifts straight up. I'm going to do another hot run. Let it go overnight, and uh, I'll let you see it tomorrow, see what I do. I'm thinking this actually might have been more of a success than I initially thought, just because I'm seeing a lot less layer issues other than extrusion issues so uh, let me let me change uh, I'm not sure if it's retraction I want it hotter I think this is should have been both well both printed at 205 but they're different materials so this one was the no they're both hatch box but but they're different colors so different batches um, they're both hatch box uh, 1.78 or 1.7 millimeter PLA. It's my go-to brand, uh, just because I haven't had issues with them. 
I've had uh, and other brands, I've had one send me the wrong color and then stop responding to me when I'm trying to get the, get the correct color replaced. And I have, haven't actually tried to see how the filament even worked. Let me fix, see if I can fix the issues and uh, share it again. As I said, I'm going to put a G28 home as my ending code. That should just lift it up and then let it cool down. Uh, I'll send it over to everyone, or I'll try to do another video tomorrow after I get one or two test prints ran. For, I'm not going to swap out the color though. They're going to look really, really similar. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't print something like a Benchy previous, so this octopus is going to have to be my test bed. Uh, talk to you all t later. Hope this was informative that a simple, cheap fix... Mind you, this isn't screwed in, it's just glued in with silicon. Might help. Another cheap, simple fix. As I said, I'm not doing anything big, so cheap and simple. If my next test, I, I start to see structural issues, I'll probably take the, this wood off two of the three sides and just fill in a large chunk of it with a large chunk of wood, like half of, like, uh, from the midsection up, and see if that'll structurally help so far I think that's helped a lot I'm um, I'm hesitant to put a brick brick on it because last time I did it just shook it off but we'll see thanks everyone for watching see you next time bye bye